So right now I am at Be Style the Salon and Boutique with uh, the owner, Alnisa Turner, who is Hi. not only a fabulous fashionista, but she has also been with me through all of my hair journeys, my mini hair journeys. She helped me put in my very first extension. She helped me cut off my perm when I decided to go natural. And today she's going to help me um, with my haircut. So what are we going to do first? Well, the first step, we're going to shampoo, condition, and blow dry her hair. It must be blow dried to get a perfect cut on our natural style. So that's the first step, and then we're going to go from there. All right, cool. So even though I look happy and confident and excited about getting my hair cut, I was really terrified. It had taken me weeks to even get in the salon because I kept putting it off because I really didn't want to cut my hair. I had been growing it out for about a year and you know it is a long process. You get attached to your hair and thinking about cutting it off and starting that process all over was just really hard to wrap my mind around. Also, we all know that in our society the standard of beauty is long hair and I was really wrestling with that and trying to determine if it was really my standard of beauty so exactly what what are you trying to achieve like what type of cut are you trying to I want something that's easy to maintain mm -hmm. um, and I want it to be like a cute shortcut Traditional in a sense, but kind of modern, like classic, but still modern. Like, I don't want to look old and funky, but then I don't want to have a mohawk either because I still have to work right, right. <laughs> on TV. And, and so, so that's kind of what I'm looking for. Your end goal is to eventually keep it short, or are you going to try it? Yeah, right now I'm out? thinking I'm going to keep it short, and then if, if it's just like I just really hate it, I'm going to start to grow it out again. Right. But I want to kind of keep it short right okay. now. So. What I would suggest is because you have so much length on the sides, is that we shouldn't go too, so much length in the top is we shouldn't go too low on the sides because then you're gonna have too much length and it's gonna give you that funky look that you don't wanna you wanna transition from you know work and play so you don't want it to be too edgy but at the same time still cute and cropped. So we'll probably take maybe maybe like a half an inch, an inch off the top and then go as low as I need to go just to give you that that look that you're trying to go for. Yeah. So first step, we're gonna blow dry it, as I've said previously, and then we'll go from there. Why do you blow dry? Because being that your hair is so curly, it's hard to get a definite cut on it, and the straighter, I'll be able to cut more evenly and you know not worry about long pieces later once you you know once it dries so it'll be more of an even cut if I blow dry it. So this is the part that really got me when Alnisa started blow drying my hair because I hadn't put any heat really on my natural hair in over a year. So this kind of length right here I really didn't even know I had it because I'd always done the wash and go so you get that shrinkage you get that little short curly fro you don't get length so when she started blow drying my hair and I saw that I had a little bit of length going I really couldn't believe it I was looking in the mirror like <laughs> I was looking in the mirror like is this really my hair and <laughs> So this is actually the first time that I have blow dried my hair and seen it at this since I've been natural. And now I really don't know what to do because it's long and I like it. So I don't know, the decision that I'm trying to make right now um, to cut it is a little bit up in the air. As much as I love my shortcut, I like this too. And so what I decided to do is just wait a few days and play around with my hair like this. Maybe try some two strand twists or some different styles because I've never really had my hair like this. I've always just done the wash and go. So um, I'm going to take a few days, play around with my hair like this, and then come back um, to Alnisa and then I'll decide whether or not I'm going to leave it like this and let it keep growing um, or cut it short and cute like I planned to do when I came in here. Um, in the meantime, though, do you think I should get a trim? Yes. Okay. So we'll do that in the meantime. Get something done. <laughs> right. Something. 
so I punked out. I was still holding on to that ideal of having long hair. And to be honest, I still had a lot of fears. How would I look with my short natural? Would it be cute on me? Would it look right on my face? How would my texture be? How was I going to style it? And would I really be able to achieve the look that I wanted? I was also thinking about how it would be received, how I would be viewed not only in my career and my job and all that stuff, but just on a personal level. So dealing with a lot of things there, not quite ready to make a move.